my channel. So yogurt is something that we love to have in the morning with our breakfast, but it is, it's kind of expensive because we eat yogurt two, three times a week. And then that is four of us having it, those little yogurt cups. Four times three is 12, 12 times how many weeks? Four, I mean, it's a lot of yogurt. So I'm going to try, fingers crossed, I'm going to try to make homemade yogurt in the crock pot. I've watched a lot of people make homemade yogurt. I'm copying a recipe from Our Tribe of Many. Her name is also Sarah. And so I'm gonna take her recipe, cut it in half, and then try to make it work for my family. I'm putting four cups of milk in here. Never mind the staining. I swear I wash it. All right, and then we're just gonna put the lid on it, leave it on low for two and a half hours, and then another YouTuber I was watching make homemade yogurt, her name is Jay Morell. Uh, I'll just put her name on the screen. She cooks it until the milk reaches 180 degrees, so I'm gonna do a little bit of both. Okay, so it's been exactly two and a half hours. I checked it earlier and it, it was like at 140, so let's see. So I'm gonna keep cooking it another 20 minutes to see if the temperature goes up any. What's another 20 minutes? Guess who burnt her yogurt? This brown. It's still not even at 180 degrees. If I keep cooking it, it's gonna be burnt. It, like even more. So I am doing the unplug and just leave the lid on it for three hours technique. So I just had this realization three hours later that I should have put in the... I read the directions wrong. I wasn't supposed to put that in three hours later. I was supposed to put it in right now. And then put a towel over it and then leave it alone overnight and then check it in the morning because it's not going well so far. Okay guys, it's the next morning and I'm just scared to pick this towel up. It's like you know you messed up on something so you don't want to look. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh no. So the yogurt didn't turn out well. Um, I made so many cooking mistakes on the way to the end of this. I am not going to cut the recipe in half. I'm gonna do exactly as um, our tribe of many, how she makes her homemade yogurt. I'm just gonna follow it exactly like she did. I just watched her video again. I took notes. So here we go. All right, so I have eight cups of whole milk. Oh my goodness. What a mess. Put the lid on there. All right, so I need to keep it on low for two and a half hours. And if this doesn't work, because I'm following her recipe exactly as she said it, I'm gonna chalk it up to don't use lactose-free whole milk. Because she says whole milk and it's like the big gallon jug, but I never really thought that maybe the lactose is what is throwing it off. So if it doesn't work again, I'm gonna go buy different milk and then try it a third time. Okay, it's been two and a half hours. I have my thermometer just in case. I'm just gonna, oops, I'm just gonna check it anyways. It'll make me feel better. All right, so it's at 158. You know, I'm just gonna do what I saw in the video, which is to turn it to keep warm for three more hours. All right, and once those three hours are done, I will add half a cup of store-bought yogurt. So, fingers crossed. I didn't see any burning on it this time, but it wasn't the temperature that another video is. And then I've had some people comment on um, my grocery haul video that said that when they make homemade yogurt, they get it to 180 or 190. So I'm super scared. Now the three hours is up. I'm adding half a cup of plain Greek yogurt, mix it around and then turn it off. Put it in the oven with the oven light on overnight. Okay. All right, folks. This ain't it. It's the milk. It has to be. My hair is up. That means I mean business. I went to Aldi's. I bought whole milk, a huge gallon. I bought whole Greek yogurt. I also bought non-fat Greek yogurt, so I don't know what is the best one because at, at this point I'm just like at a loss. So I'm gonna use this whole milk one first and if it doesn't work, I will make it a fourth time and use the non-fat. So again, eight cups in the crock pot on low for two and a half hours. Here we go. 
So I checked the temperature on the third batch. After two and a half hours, it only got up to like 158. So I put it in another 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so now it has been three hours. Whoops, on keep warm. I'm adding the yogurt. Half a cup of yogurt. Okay guys, this is the morning after. I think, I think it worked. I don't know, I'm so scared. So I'm supposed to like get rid of the whey. <gasps> oh my God. I guess this is where my cheesecloth would make a lot of sense. Okay, I just, I'm too scared. <gasps> okay, I don't care. All right, party people, I put the yogurt in about six layers of cheesecloth on top of a strainer that is on top of a pot to catch all the way. I might have let it strain for 30 minutes or I don't know, not very long because I was getting impatient, but you can see the way at the bottom, it just kind of looks like really dirty water. I thought it was gonna make a lot of yogurt, but it didn't really make as much yogurt as I had anticipated because I used eight cups of milk, so I thought I was getting, I don't know, eight cups of yogurt. This little food dish maybe holds three cups, so it filled that up. I'm also looking online to get a reusable yogurt strainer bag or reusable cheesecloth bag, something that I don't have to mess with this cheesecloth because cutting it and layering it was stressful enough and I just don't want to do that again and then I just throw it away anyway so I want to get a reusable one. I have Sophia here. She's going to try it first because I'm too scared. Your yogurt? Mm. Yummy? Mm. Okay, I'll try it now. I found brushy right here. Now look. It tastes, yeah, it does taste like Greek yogurt. It just tastes, um, warm. Don't you? Yeah. Next time I will do the cheesecloth because it's runny. Mm -hmm. Now I know why people do it. Mm -hmm. Because it's just like super runny. But, third time's a charm. We survived it. We're almost out of granola. Start to make more granola. Anyways, thanks guys for watching this super hectic video. I'll just see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.